so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create the floating boat animation in the blender so without any further delay now let's get started the tutorial and here you can see guys this is our render view and if i'm just going to show you so that is the animation here you can see if i'm just going to exit my camera view so here you can see it looks something like that so in this video we'll just talk about how we can create that kind of animation and how we can create that kind of wave as well we'll use the dynamic paint to create that kind of animation so let's start a tutorial and here you can see this is our final render view if i'm just going to show you here so here you can see if i'm just going to my camera view and i will just uh, move into my render view so here you can see that is the final render view so let's start it so first of all i just want to move my solid mode and here i just want to uh, delete everything apart from this uh, board basically so i just want to press the control i to inverse selection then i will just delete everything pressing the delete so here we have only our board model okay so after that i will just add one plane pressing the shift a then i'm just going to scale this plane something like that yeah i think that look fine and i will just duplicate this plane pressing the shift d then i'm just going to scale it one more time and now i'm just going to pull a little bit down then i'm just going to edit mode of this plane pressing the i for the insert then i'm just going to uh, select these faces which is i have insert basically i just want to select these faces then i'm just going to press the e for the extrude and i will just create that kind of uh, open box something like that okay and then i'm just going to select my uh, middle plane then i'm just going to edit mode of this plane and here i'm just going to subdivide this plane at least 80 time i think that look fine to me right now okay and first of all we'll just create a boat animation basically so here you can see if i'm just going to show my viewport render so here you can see that looks something like that so how we can create that kind of uh, rotating animation so we'll just uh, create first of all this kind of animation so for creating that kind of animation what you have to do basically so for that you have to just go to your uh, add curve section so i will just press the shift a and here i'm just going to my curve section and from here i'm just want to add that uh, curve spiral and this one i will just add basically so when you add the curve spiral it will look like this so first of all we have to just uh, play with some setting here so i just want to increase the turn so i just want to increase the i think nine turn is look cool to me we can just decrease the turn as well and we can just uh, increase the radius so i think that's look fine to me yeah that's look great okay and if you not found the that is curve spiral option here so for that you have to just go to your edit preference and here you have to just uh, search one add-on it's called basically extra object you have to just enable that extra object from the here extra curve and you have to just check this one from here and after that make sure you just hit the save preference and when you uh, hit the shift a and when you go to your curve section you will see the extra curve properties here as well okay so right now it's look fine to me so now what i will do i'm just going to my top view and here i just uh, want to move my uh, boat according to our spiral i think that's look fine to me now i will just select my boat first then i will select my curve and here i will just press the control p and here you will see one option it's called basically follow path and when you hit the follow path option so you will uh, hit the space bar on your keyboard so you will see that kind of animation is happening here and right now it's look very weird basically here you can see so that's look very fast and that's look also very horrible so how we can fix this problem basically how we can decrease the speed so first of all we have to define the uh, maximum frame from here so right now i have already set the 500 frame here but uh, still we get the that kind of speed animation here so how we can reduce the speed of that animation so for that what you have to do you have to just uh, select your curve and then you have to just go to a curve properties and from here you have to just set the frame as a 500 frame now it will play the animation slowly here you can see now that's look fine but still that boat is not uh, following the curve properly so how we can fix this problem so for that you have to just go again your top view and from here you have to just uh, rotate your boat something like that now here you can see it will follow your curve nicely here you can see and if you found any kind of problems you can just rotate it one more time and you will see that uh, boat is following that curve very nicely okay so our animation part is also done and here you can see that's look fine to me okay now what we will do we'll just add one more uh, plane here and i just want to scale this plane something like that and uh, i just uh, want to do a little down i think that's look fine 
okay and then what I will do I will just move our uh, plane little up something like that yeah I think that's look fine and then I will just uh, go to my physics setting and here I will just add the dynamic paint so when you add the dynamic paint and on the uh, dynamic paint section you will see the two type first is the canvas second is the brush from here you have to define which one will be a brush and which one will be a canvas so that plane will be a canvas so i just want to add this as a canvas and from here i will just uh, change some setting i will just um, click this anti analyzing which is uh, make our animation a little smooth basically and from here i will just change the surface type as a wave so when that uh, brush will be that boat will be move on the top of this surface so we'll get the wavy effect basically so and after that you have make sure you enable this open border as well and apart from that you don't need to change anything right now okay and now you have to just move your uh, boat section and here you have to add also a dynamic paint and here you have to add the uh, type as a brush and make sure you add brush and apart from that you don't need to change anything so now we did all settings now let's see what we get exactly when we hit the space bar on our keyboard so let's do it so here you can see when we hit the space bar we get the that kind of wavy effect and that look fine basically so here you can see guys that look fine and that brush object is perfectly interact with our canvas object and we get the a perfect wave effect but right now here you can see we have a some a low poly effect here so for that what you have to do you have to just add the subdivision surface uh, modifier on your uh, plane and you will get the more smoothness here here you can see when i will just add the subdivision surface modifier okay it will take little time so you can see guys here we have our subdivision surface modifier i just want to increase the viewport level 2 and that viewport will be a little slower because we add the extra geometry in our scene but uh, when i will just uh, select our plane and then i will just do shade smooth so you can see now we have a much more smooth waves here and that look fine by the way okay and uh, we can do one more thing by the way we can just unhide this object and we can just delete this face basically because we can easily see that face on under of this uh, water so now here you can see we have a perfect wave effect here so right now it look little slower because we add the uh, subdivision surface modifier so so here you can see guys if i will just uh, disable our subdivision surface modifiers it will work very nicely but if i will just enable our subdivision surface modifier so that viewport will be a little uh, slow but you will get the perfect result here so here you can see guys that's how you can create the floating boat animation in blender with the help of the dynamic paint that is very cool and easy trick uh, which is i thought i should share with you and after that you have to just add the material on your scene and you have to just add the uh, lighting your scene and when you will just switch your rendering mode so you will see something like that so first of all i just want to go to my 30th frame and from here i just want to increase the viewport level so let me just uh, go to our 30th frame so i think that's look fine to me yeah and then i will just go move to my camera view and from here i will just switch my rendering view from here to here so here you can see we have a perfect floating boat animation and floating boat still shot as well that's look fine by the way okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys